Christy O. Hi. <laughs> so, was there anything you observed about Cape Town and the dynamics here that stood out for you? Yes. Which one? Or what exactly? Like, everybody will be gathered here. The next thing you're seeing tweets flying and you're like, how? Give me just one example. Like Elo Swag. Adekunle tweeted something. Uh -huh. According to him, uh -huh. it was a link. Hold on. I think it's still sticking with you now. Right. I think another thing that came out of Cape Town was this thing about a brand of tequila. Yeah. That was quite interesting with you and Azu Shex. Yeah. Um, where did it start from? I don't know who knows where it started from, but I know it was about Adekunle and Shex. So let me start with you, Shex. So what was it about that situation? Wahala, Ebu Kadi number one table shaker. Like, hey, God, he will take, he will just shake the table and everywhere will just be scattering. Hmm. Hello, guys. Welcome back again to the channel. How are you all doing? I hope you guys are doing okay. So let's give thanks to God. If you are new here, my name is Rose and you're watching Rose Martin's Vlogs. Please do wait to subscribe and also turn on your post notification so that you get notified whenever I come back to drop a new video for my returnees thank you guys for always coming back you guys are the best for shella lovers you guys are welcome to this channel because you are going to be discussing and unveiling you guys know the vibe so guys hmm, this uh big brother reunion started yesterday officially because the first day it started was um on the 19th and it was just about introduction um recap about their south african trip so yeah so it was just about the introduction so this second day was them officially opening um their nyash <laughs> let me use that word even when Diana was talking to Amaka, she said, I'm not trying to expose you. Not that I'm exposing you. Meanwhile, she have already exposed, exposed her. So I'm going to be telling you guys everything that happened in the first or second day of the reunion, guys. So, guys, started with this. So, Ebuka started with Daniela and he asked her that, how about South African trip? How was it? Like, how has it been being in the same space with Kali? I think Ebuka was just trying to, like, expose like talk more about um the way Kalik and Daniela was doing the house about their their kweku kwekus you guys know now mm -hmm. they are knocking nakademus something something so Ebuka was just trying to like maybe bring out the topic but so Daniela say that they have seen after the show like immediately after the show they saw before even traveling to uh, to Cape Town so seeing themselves there wasn't much difference like they were just vibing and everything was just going well as normal so so if we kind of move to Khalid and ask him that how was it it was it awkward being in the same space with uh, Dotun and Daniela because Ibuka like to Ibuka and to viewers were thinking that after if these people leave the sh the house they're not going to be like they will not rapport they will not be friends again because of what happened you guys know that Daniela and and uh, Kali were doing their things in the house before they evicted Kali then Daniela okay do to now move to Daniela because Kali wasn't there again and Daniela her own self she even for like the way she even started um going close to do to immediately was somehow so uh Ilka was just trying to like ask Kali that being in the same space with these people was it awkward like so so he said it wasn't awkward like even dotina uh, tried to like explain and say that uh, they spoke before even traveling so everybody was cool before they travel so it wasn't much um like there was not, not much beefing there were not much um controversies over there because they set two here before they traveled so so Ibukana moved to Chichi guys and he started by asking her how was her trip to South Africa like how was the journey was it good so Chichi now said that yes that it was awesome then the, at this point Ibukana wanted to like open her nyash because yeah there was a lot of speculations uh, uh, during that period about Chichi and um uh, and Deji. So it was at this point that it kind of say, mm. he said that was not what he heard. He heard that uh, she fell out of many housemates. Then Chichina responded and said that uh, she said not all, but Deji. Like 
she was just specific she said but she was not um she didn't fall out of many people as as speculated but that uh, she fell out of only deji so she now said that deji was the only person she had issues with hmm people kind of turned to chomsi and asked her that if what chichi said is true uh to me i was just like how ah, chomsi won't take no but i know that Ebuka will definitely know why he asked chomsi that question hmm let me pause here let's move to groovy and fina now so Ebuka now talk to groovy and uh, gro- uh, turn to groovy first then Ebuka now ask a uh, groovy that like how was his journey like everything before he starts his conversation he will ask them about their journey in cape town how was the experience and and i think that was why the first day of this show yeah it was all about the cape town things they just wanted to like show us like they they took our mind back to the the journey so that we will help them and like see what really happened there like see their experience and all that before because the way buka will first of all start this conversation like before he want to ask the question he would ask them their experience in the cape town because the whole drama eh, happened there the whole buzz goes the whole query because imagine them leaving the biba house they traveling all together upon all the things that happen in the house then 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 meeting again in one place outside there will be lot of eh? there will be lot of fighting and quarreling so that was why ibuka was just asking them what happened there so after ibuka asked Groovy that how was his experience in cape town then ibuka, uh, Groovy now said that his experience was lit like it was good everything was just fine he enjoyed himself then ebukana said you had a great time there you had fun with fina hmm. so ebukana added fina if he he had fun with uh, fina now this place night i won't verse with groovy like somebody asked you that did you had fun with fina yes or no so he said he had memories good like good memories with everyone hmm. then so Ebukana asked that uh, if he had memories with uh, Fina also, but he said, yeah, if Fina is there, that means he had fun with her now because he said everybody, hey God, I say wahala, wahala, wahala. I say, well, Vale started coming from this angle now. So even the way Fina was seated, she was just giving liquorous vibe. Everybody know, like everybody that watched the video saw the way Fina was seated and answered the question. Like she wasn't happy. She was just looking down and answering the question. Like imagine the way um, Groovy just was bringing Vale's vibe. So Fina was just responding very mature and she just went straight to the point i was even surprised to see fina in this mood because fina that i know she would have started shouting at everybody there and even the groovy said <laughs> she might even say shut up there hmm. so guys everybody was shocked at the way fina responded just so calm guys so it was able kind of ask fina first that how was her own cape town experience she said that uh, it was good but she wasn't um adapting to the weather because the weather was cold so she didn't have great fun like that like much fun like that so able can i say but there was groovy then i was groovy not enough for for her to have her fun at that at that time so she said they were fun actually so able can i ask her that what was it that was actually fun for her there so fina say that that was it she was just saying that was it then ibukana was like that was what fina said that was it just like that <laughs> so guys i think she wasn't happy like she wasn't in the mood to say to talk about uh, she and groovy story but ibuka had to bring the nine be chairman so they need to when he bring come you go answer whether you like it or not if you don't want to answer you must answer it yes because you came for the reunion hmm. reunion is to open your mind talk within the border you talk within the your mind but anyways she answer what she wants to answer guys so ibukana moved to christy o ibuka asked her how was the cape town experience and uh, it was fine just like that the ibukana said was there anything she observed from the cape town then christy, christy o just 
like opened up and said that uh, yeah she saw that everyone will gather here the next thing she will see things flying online because she was the only person that uh, posted on online complaining about the quarreling and everything that was just happening there guys so ebukana said that she should give one example of the things that she saw there so christian said that like hello swag hello swag and um, ade kule she opened up about hello swag and ade, ade kule and uh, saga so like hello swag said that ade kule said them say <laughs> so uh, hello swag said that ade kule said uh hello swag go live and does not live their their life he always like going live, but does not live the life. I don't know that how that conversation happened, but that was what Christy o said that Elo Swag said about Ade Kunle. That uh, so Ade Kunle now defended himself and said that uh, it was his fans that was asking him to go live, and he just responded like he just told them that yeah. It's not all about going live, blah blah blah. I think Adekule was not saying the truth because everybody in the comment section will say that Adekule just a lie. He just a lie for that place. Hey, <laughs> so I remember uh, it was at that point that uh, Elosua was always going live, showing us what was happening there and all that. Then Adekule, I can remember that 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 saga. Then Adekule now posted that. Uh, they will just be going live without living a life, blah blah blah. So I think that was what Chris Yu was trying to bring out. But I did not lay just the lie. He said now in fans tell and say make it go live. He can't tell and say that it's not all about going live. Hmm. Now wow. So Adekule uh Ebukana moved to Adekule and uh Sheikh Sagao hmm, about the Azu. You guys remember that Azu now that Sheikh's bought that uh Adekule took to so he's um, Twitter and tweeted and said that. Uh, so he said every flex, every flex the housemate have posted on Max and Jack Jack Internet during the trip has been sponsored by Pepsi. Don't let anyone use fake life to deceive you. Everything, everything, like everything they bought there was sponsored by Pepsi. Hmm. So it was this this tweet right here that scattered the internet about Azu. Azu was really, really trending at that time. And um, yeah, so, so Adekule was just there trying to defend himself and at the same time lying because he said he was explaining and he said that uh, he wasn't at that vicinity, like where Shez and his people were seated, he wasn't there. So how will he know that uh, Shez bought Azu? Hmm. How he no go know? Like he knew, and that was why he posted that. So he defended himself there. Who they clearly defended himself, and he said it was not because of the Azu that shares, but that was why he posted that. That was why, like he did not shade anybody. So it was when uh, Adekule said that he did not, he didn't, he, like he was not trying to shade anybody. That was saying Bella, hey, the princess herself, the Madame Madame Shakes. I love the way she stood by her man yeah and she said that um adekule that was a pure shading like it was a pure shading adekule was actually shading shakes now this one would they call say love you cannot just be lying against my man like that when i'm here so uh, bella now stood up and said that uh, it was a pure shading like real shading that was coming from adekule at that point at that time guys and that Adekule should stop lying. Why is he lying? Hey, Wahala, like Bella go give you, no go fear you. Uh, she will say it to your face and she feel like there's there's nothing there's nothing you can do. So she will just say her mind, guys. So so Shex now say that him buying Azu was just on a look, even before Bella say what she said. Eh? Sheikh already said that he bought the Azu on a low key that um he didn't buy it to oppress anybody. He bought it so that they will enjoy themselves. That was why he bought it for everybody, so that they would just have fun. Everybody would be laughing and he would just be fine. So he did not buy that as to oppress anybody or to like form big man. Mm -mm. He bought it to have fun with his people. So guys, I'm just going to be fast from here. They were able to kind of ask Farm Savvy about uh, him and the um, Hello Swag situation that that it was just a game so why was um um farm survey angry that fans have said he was betrayed 
because Elo Swag was his guy. So why would he just nominate him? Like they were roomy now. So Elo Swag, if they give Elo Swag food, say make it poison him, he go poison him because him now in roomy. Why go go nominate him? There were lots of people in the house he didn't nominate. That is to say, Elo Swag wanted him to go, and and he did. So. He, like it was just like a betray from him say why would Elo Swag nominate him that was that about Elo Swag and farm service so if we can move to Doyin and, and uh, Saif about their yeah, relationship and all situation in the house every time they go to the party they want to like kiss and hug and do all sort of things like what was that about that love they were showing us in the house so Doyin I said that she like she was attracted to Saif because of his confidence, especially when he corrected Bibra when Bibra pronounced his name wrongly. That that was when he started liking him. That because he loves somebody that is confident, somebody that can speak without fear. So hmm. and somebody I saw a comment where somebody said because of that he confident when he corrected Bibra and I make the every time leave the house. No wahala. So guys. So Doyin concluded by saying that his first, uh, like her first impression about Saif was his confidence and maturity. So that was why she liked Saif, guys. Hmm. Who was in a different level. Yeah. And, um, you know, you were like, oh, I didn't care about her age. Yeah. The next party, I must <laughs> show her. What so Ebuka brought about Diana uh, and Brian's situation. Why uh, Brian said that uh, he doesn't care about uh, their Diana age, <laughs> this is Diana and Brian. <laughs> like he doesn't care. Like Diana, uh, Brian said that he doesn't care about Diana age. What was that? Was he crushing on Diana? So, uh, uh, uh Brian said that mm, that check her now. She say like she said she's a beautiful woman like she's beautiful so why won't he crush on her? <laughs> hey God, I say no. Is what it happened? No, guys. The reunion is reunioning, like the vibe is coming and we are loving it, guys. But the glass goes, it's not much yet. So a lot of people are complaining, like they want to see the glass go part. Because the laughing was too much. It was just becoming as if it's a, it, it a comedy, something like even Fina was laughing. Fina that just squeezed her face, na, 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 that uh, Ebuka asked, he, uh, asked her about Groovy. She was squeezing her face, but small time she started laughing. Everybody was just laughing there. Mm -hmm. No, wahala. Let's see the two, the uh, let's see the three, the four, and the rest. Let's see how it goes, guys. So let's move to Ebuka calling out Amaka. Hmm. Ebuka call out Amaka at this point, and uh, Ebuka asked Amaka that if she knows that Diana was having anything going on with Gidi, with Giddy Vaya, because you guys know this Giddy Vaya. A situation with Amaka and uh, and Diana and Diana. So uh, Amaka said that. So Amaka said anytime he uh, she asked uh, Diana about Gidivaya, about her, like if anything is happening. So Diana will say that they are just friends. That Gidivaya is just friends with is just friend with her, and they are just cool as friends. So uh, Amaka wasn't taking it serious because she feared that Diana is her. Is her friend, so she can't hide anything from her. So they were just there. But Ebuka now say that after seeing the garden situation, like Ebuka asked Amakada, after seeing the garden situation, that that did she still think that Diana feel nothing for Gidivaya? So Amaka said that she saw her getting mad at Rachel over Gidivaya. Then she asked her, but she didn't give her a good answer. It was people who kept on telling her that um, um, from like people were just telling her about the whole thing between uh, Diana and uh, and Giddy Vaya. So, but whenever she comes to her directly and asks her, she will just say no, that they are just friends, they are just cool, that she doesn't have any feeling for her. Hmm. So this very party, I was laughing when Diana answered, hey, it was Diana's turn now to defend herself. For. So Diana said, she asked her about all the guys that Amaka always asks her about Groovy, about Elo Swag, about Deji, Dotu. Like, she wasn't certain about anybody. So why would she just come and be telling her about a uh, fan service like that? Like, but for real, though, Amaka wasn't certain about anybody. She was actually, like, 
going to different different people and even amaka said it in this in this part like she said that she came into the house she told diana that when she came into the house she wanted to be a player she told her so her mentioning all these people's names so the part that really really got me laughing was when uh, after mentioning all this after diana mentioning all this name that uh, amaka called like amaka wants like amaka wanted all these people but the part that really got me laughing was when uh, Diana said she doesn't want to expose her. But after mentioning all the names, you still say that you don't want to expose her. You are ready to expose her. So, guys, I think Amaka was a player. And somebody, someone said that it was that playing of a team that got her evicted. So, the, her game wasn't really, really good for her so so i think it is true that amaka was not setting about anybody at uh, at that time she was just going to one 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 place to another calling different guys that she want them i think that was the issue she had with fina and groovy that she said she was talking to fina about groovy but fina took groovy away from her hmm. so guys her, her playing game did not favor her i think so leave your opinion in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe turn on your post notification after subscribing so that you get notified whenever i come back to drop a new video i will see you guys in my next video bye for now